that if you press the second and the button about uh, on the fourth row down from the second button, the one that has the X with the negative one exponent, above that you see M-A-T-R-X. That's standing for matrix. So if you press second and that button right there, you'll come up with a matrix menu. Okay? Now, you should see a list of letters. Okay? But we need to go over to the edit column. The third column over. Use your right arrow to go to the third column over. Because we have to put the, the matrices in there. We have to put their entries in there. So press enter. So for matrix A, you got to put its dimensions in there. I told you that you had to know the dimensions so that you could uh, put them in your calculator right here. And then you're just going to type in the entries. Now it does go straight across the rows. So you're going to put in negative 5, 8. Just press enter after every number. 1, negative 3. I always double check to make sure that it matches what I thought I was putting in there. Okay, uh, then I'm going to put in matrix B. So I'm going to go back to my matrix menu, second matrix, over to edit. But this time I'm going to go down to B. It is also a 2 by 2, so I'm going to put in 2 times 2. Okay, 7, 0, negative 2, 9. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Um, now, I need to go back to my just regular home screen. So I'm going to press second mode. Okay, that's going to take me back to just a clear screen. I want to multiply matrix B times matrix A. So, going back to my matrix menu. Okay, this is another reason why I didn't really show you this, because it's a whole lot of keystrokes. Okay. Um, this time, I'm going to stay in that first column. Okay, where it says names, and this is why it's very important what order you do it in. We just said that it's not the same as A times B, so we got to make sure that we select matrix B first, then put our time symbol, go back to our matrix menu, select matrix A, so you should see B times A. You just press enter. Okay, huh? No, you stay on the name column. You don't go over to edit. And press enter. And then it gives you the resulting matrix. Okay, it gives you the resulting matrix. Um, so it turns out that B times A, you're going to right here. B times A is negative 35, 56, 19, negative 43. <clears throat> Evaluate the determinant of this matrix. Okay, um, If you need to label it, that's fine. Um, so it is A times D minus B times C. And we're just going to crunch those numbers. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. 4 times 5 is 20. 4 minus 20 is negative 16. Negative 16 is the value of the determinant. At this point, that's all you need to know. Okay, It's going to come into play later on when we talk about the inverse, um, but right now we're just going to work on calculating. So that's for a 2 by 2 matrix. Well, we haven't just dealt with 2 by 2 matrices. Now, you can only do this with square matrices. Okay, a 2 by 2 we're getting ready to look at a 3x3. Three three. Now, I'm not going to lie. 3x3 three three gets a little complicated, so I'm going to take it slowly. Um, what we're going to do with a 3x3, three three, and it, it's kind of hard to, to really write it out. So you're just going to have to kind of follow along. And if I lose you somewhere, let me know before I keep going. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to break this 3 by 3 down into several different uh, kind of sub matrices, so to speak. So to find the determinant of a 3 by 3, we start by taking uh, the entry from row 1, column 1, and we are going to multiply it by 
the determinant of this sub two by two matrix. Okay, so what I did is I took a row one, column one issue, and I kind of took its row and its column out of play, and I'm looking at the two by two that's left. I'm going to find its determinant like we just did. Okay, A, D minus B times C. Then I'm going to subtract. I'm going to move to the next entry in the first row. Four times. And then I'm going to ignore the first row. Four was in the second column, so I'm going to ignore that column. So what I'm going to find the determinant of is what I've just circled in purple, okay? The two entries in the first column, the two entries in the last column, I'm going to find their determinant. Negative 3 times negative 3 minus negative 2 times positive 3. And then I'm going to add, guess what? I'm going to do this last one right here. Two times the determinant of what is left when I eliminate its row and its column. So we're looking at these. Because that's just the pattern. It's the way it goes. You keep, the, you keep this sign the same. You keep the first one the same. This one, you always change the sign, and the last one, you keep the same. Okay, so then we've got negative 3 times 2 minus 1 times 3. And then it's just a numbers game. So negative 3 plus 4. Of course, you are more than welcome to type this into your calculator, but I'm going to do it by hand. And hopefully not mess anything up. So let's see here. Negative 3 plus 4 is 1. So that's negative 1. 9 plus 6 is 15. So that's minus 60. Negative 6 minus 3 is negative 9. That's negative 18. So we get negative... 79 should be the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix. Now, while you are writing that down, I'm going to show you. Now, I do expect you to be able to do the determinant of a 2 by 2 uh, by hand. But I am going to show you that you can check it. Okay, so I'm going to put it in uh, matrix A. I'm going to put in all those entries, negative 1, 4, 2, negative 3, 1, negative 2, 3, 2, negative 3. Go to my home screen, go back to my matrix menu. <clears throat> we haven't touched that middle column yet that says math. So if we go over to math, you'll notice the first option there says DET. That stands for the determinant. So you're going to press enter and then you're going to go back to your matrix menu, stay in the name column and put matrix A there, close your parentheses, press enter and it tells you that the determinant is negative 79. How do you clear the You can't really clear the matrix, you just have to like write over it. I don't think there's a way to clear it. Um, yeah, there's not really a way to clear it. Okay, so yes, obviously that was way quicker than what we just did by hand, but I did want to show you um, how to calculate the determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix by hand. Um,
I'm not going to ask you to do that on the quiz by hand. I'm not going to um, force you to do it on the test or anything by hand. Uh, but I am. I do expect you to be able to do a two by two. Okay, that that's fairly easy. I know that the three by three is a little bit more complicated, um, but you can use the calculator to check. Okay, so I would like for you on your worksheet.